Hey everyone, Brandon from the Aperture team, and welcome to the user guide for the Lightstorm 1200D Pro, the daylight king of the Lightstorm product line and the brightest Bowens mount LED on the market. Here's a brief overview of what to expect from the Lightstorm 1200D Pro, the flagship light of the Lightstorm lineup. The Lightstorm 1200D Pro is a single source daylight balance Bowens mount LED fixture with 1200 watts of output power. Using its universal Bones accessory mount, its single LED engine is capable of creating crisp, hard shadows and can be modified to produce diffused light with a variety of Bones mount accessories. To give you an idea of just how bright the LS1200D Pro is, it's an LED that is able to approach the output of an M18 or Joker 1600. The 1200D Pro kit includes three new hyperreflectors covering different beam angles, wide, medium, and narrow. Without any accessories, it boasts a whopping 126,413 lumens, and at a distance of 3 meters, the 1200D Pro is able to output 83,100 lux with a narrow hyperreflector, 22,400 lux with a medium hyperreflector, or 13,010 lux with a wider hyperreflector. While we're on the topic of photometrics, the 1200D Pro produces excellent color quality with its 5600 Kelvin CCT, achieving a CRI of 96+, TLCI of 98+, CQS of 95+, and D56 Spectral Similarity Index of 73+. Next, let's talk about the design and build of this beast of a light. With the LS1200D Pro, we were able to achieve IP54 rated weather resistance. Paired together with a magnesium alloy construction, it stands as our most durable light to date. Looking into the details of the lamp head, based on user feedback, we adjusted the Bones mount release mechanism from our previous Lightstorm fixtures. The Bones mount release is located at the top of the lamp head with a large and easy to press release button. Simply push it in and you can remove or attach your modifiers. By achieving the feat of fitting a 1200 watt COB inside the Bones mount, the 1200D Pro remains compatible with a lot of existing aperture and third party accessories. However, because the 1200D Pro uses a large 1200 watt COB LED, it can generate a lot of heat, and therefore we don't recommend that you use it with just any modifier. For example, the LS1200D Pro should not be used with the Fresnel 2X or the Aperture Barn Doors, but you can use it with the F10 Fresnel and F10 Barn Doors. We also recommend that you remove any inner baffles from softboxes when using them in conjunction with the 1200D Pro. As long as the COB has proper ventilation, most accessories will be fine. For more information on which accessories we recommend for your fixture, you can check out the Aperture and Amaran accessory compatibility chart on the Aperture website, located in the support section. While on the topic of accessories, the 1200D Pro includes three new hyperreflectors, the BM1215 narrow reflector, the BM1230 medium reflector, and the BM1245 wide reflector. Different optical systems can produce different beam angles with different size LED emitters. In the case of these three reflectors, we aim to have the narrow reflector produce a beam angle of 15 degrees, the medium reflector to produce a beam angle of 30 degrees, and the wide reflector to produce a beam angle of 45 degrees, giving you the option for more punch or a wider spread. And to compensate for the larger light modifiers that you can attach to this powerful light, the 1200D Pro utilizes a curved yoke, 28mm junior pin, and extra heavy duty disc brake tilt lock. This makes supporting heavy accessories such as the F10 Fresnel and Lightone 150 or large softboxes from other manufacturers like DOP Choice and Chimera incredibly easy. And to manage the included 7.5 meter long 7 pin weatherproof head cable, the yoke features a rope and carabiner for cable relief. Now let's take a look at the all new control box. Like the lamp head, the control box is also rated for IP54 water and dust ingress protection. And all of the connection ports on the 1200D Pro have rubber caps to protect them when not in use including the head cable port, the Nutric Powercon AC input port, the 48 volt DC inputs, the DMX in and out ports, the Ethercon port, and the USB port. The 1200D Pro can safely operate within an ambient temperature range of negative 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, or negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, matching our other professional level fixtures. The 1200D Pro control box also features a new design, with all the ports now moved to the side for easy access, and allowing the control box to be rested on the ground upright with its heavy duty metal feet, all while maintaining the familiar paracord strap, and now not one, but two lightning clamp quick release plates for quickly mounting to any stand, truss, or speed rail. On the side of the 1200D Pro control box, you will find all of the 1200D Pro's connections or power ports, except for the head cable connection, which is located on the top. The data connection ports include a USB firmware port for firmware updates, 5-pin DMX512, and a new professional Ethercon port for Artnet and streaming ACN. As an advanced LED, the 1200D Pro features both AC and DC power options. For the AC input, the 1200D Pro utilizes a Nutric PowerCon True 1 TOP input and a 6 meter long 12 gauge power cable. We upgraded the AC power cable to a higher gauge to support the 1200D Pro's 1440 watt peak power draw. Next to the AC input are two 3-pin XLR 48 volt 15 amp DC inputs. 
As the 1200D Pro has a max power draw of 1440 watts, it would require two synchronized and regulated 48 volt power sources, like block batteries or power stations, that can each deliver at least 15 amps of continuous power. Each DC input supports up to 720 watts or 15 amps of continuous power draw. If there is a voltage discrepancy between the two DC power sources, the 1200D Pro may not be able to operate at max output. You can also utilize a single DC input with the same 48 volt 15 amp power solution to achieve half power with the 1200D Pro. The interface should feel familiar to anyone who has used the LS600D Pro or 600X Pro. Underneath the display, there are four primary control buttons, the menu button, lighting button, effects button, and back button. The lighting button can be used to return to the primary lighting control mode. The effects button can be used to enter the lighting effects mode, as well as trigger select effects. The menu accesses the 1200D Pro system menu, and the back button will return to the previous input within the various menus. Beginning with the main lighting control mode, the control knob can be used to control the 1200D Pro's brightness in 0.1% increments. Users can turn the control knob more slowly to adjust the brightness in finer increments or more quickly to adjust the parameters in larger increments. Pressing the control knob will also cause the brightness to jump in 20% increments, cycling between 20%, 40 60 80 and 100%. The lighting mode displays the intensity of the fixture on the left, the external control method in the upper right, and the selected dimming curve, battery or AC power status, and the fixture's Bluetooth UID in the right-hand column. Entering the effects mode, the 1200D Pro can utilize eight daylight balance lighting effects, like the 600D Pro, including paparazzi, fireworks, faulty bulb, lightning, TV, pulsing, strobe, and explosion. In the effects mode interface, users can scroll through each of the different lighting effects. Clicking the control knob will select the lighting effect and allow for frequency adjustments of one through 10 and random, and intensity adjustments. The effects mode button also doubles as the trigger button. This can apply to two different lighting effects, namely the lightning and explosion effects. When utilizing the lightning effect, pressing and holding the trigger button for two seconds will enter cycle mode. When cycle mode is active, the lightning effect will loop at a rate depending on its frequency. Short pressing the trigger button will simulate a one-time lightning strike. When utilizing the explosion effect, the trigger button can be used to quickly trigger a single explosion or several in rapid succession. When the light is powered off and on again, it will retain its last settings, so if it was previously in effects mode, the previous effect will resume. Diving into the system menu, users can access DMX mode, lead follow mode, dimming curves, fan modes, studio mode, frequency selection, control systems, language, factory reset, firmware updates, product information, as well as custom effects. The LS1200 Pro is also packed with professional level connectivity, featuring Citus Link app control, 5-pin DMX 512, ArtNet or SICN over EtherCon, as well as Lumen Radio CRMX. In DMX mode, users can adjust the DMX address, DMX profile, DMX loss behavior, and DMX termination. To change the DMX address, simply click into the address setting, turn the control knob to find the desired address. To avoid any mishaps on set, the DMX address can be locked by pressing and holding the control knob for two seconds in the DMX address menu. Press and hold it for two seconds again to unlock the screen. Different DMX profiles change how the LS1200 Pro interacts with the DMX channels and how many channels the light needs. For example, the one channel 8-bit lighting profile uses one channel to give you intensity control. The 16-bit lighting and effects profile, however, uses six channels to control the intensity in fine and coarse adjustments and the 1200D Pro's eight different lighting effects. The LS1200 Pro also features four DMX loss behaviors, including blackout, fade to black, hold last settings, and hold for two minutes, then fade out. The different DMX loss behaviors change the actions that the light fixture will take when it loses wired or wireless DMX signal. Blackout will cause the fixture to cut to 0% intensity immediately. Fade to black will cause the fixture to gradually dim down to 0% intensity. A fade to black from 100% intensity will take 60 seconds, and the length of the fade will scale if the starting intensity is lower. These two settings are typically useful for live events or large arrays of fixtures, situations in which you don't want any lasting effects to disrupt the rest of the scene. Hold last settings will likely be the most commonly selected mode. In this mode, the light will retain the most recent set of parameters it received, and nothing will change if the DMX signal is lost. And lastly, with hold for two minutes and then fade out, the light will retain its last settings for two minutes, then gradually dim down to 0%. The DMX termination setting also allows you to toggle auto termination on or off. In lead follow mode, you will be able to control multiple units that have been connected via DMX with one master or leader fixture to increase your ease of use, allowing you to control a fleet of lights without linking them all to DMX, CRMX, or Citus Link. Just choose a leader and let the rest of the units follow. Simply activate lead follow mode on all units, choose a leader, and the rest will automatically follow as long as they are connected. Going back to the menu, the 1200D Pro can utilize one of four different dimming curves, linear, exponential, logarithmic, and S-curve. 
With the linear dimming curve, the intensity of the fixture varies uniformly throughout the dimming range. The exponential dimming curve exhibits slow, fine variations at lower values, which accelerate quickly at higher values. The logarithmic dimming curve features quick, large variations at lower values, becoming slower and finer at higher values. And lastly, the S-curve dimming curve utilizes slow, fine variations at lower values at the bottom and top of the range, with large steps in the intermediate values. Moving on to the LS1200D Pro's active cooling system, in order to maintain the temperature of this massive 1200 watt COB LED, we implemented a quiet fan with four fan modes, smart, high, medium, and silent. In smart fan mode, the 1200D Pro will automatically modulate its internal fan speed up to ambient temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit, with a noise floor of less than 41 dBA at one meter, which quickly falls off as you move further from the unit. In high fan speed mode, the fan will constantly operate at its maximum speed for optimal cooling and is suitable for environments between 35 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, or 95 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, in which case you'll most likely be in an uncontrolled outdoor environment. This fan mode also tops out at 41 dBA at one meter. Our medium fan speed mode is our standard recommended fan speed and is suitable for most environments up to 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This is by far our most used mode and produces a consistent noise floor of up to 34 dBA at one meter, compared to the LS600D Pro's 29 dBA at one meter. And lastly, with silent mode, the LS1200D Pro deactivates its fan systems and limits its output to 100 watts. Studio mode activates the fixture as soon as it receives power. This is particularly useful for large studio configurations when users turn on and off master power switch and would prefer not to have to turn on each light individually. If you do not want your lamp head to turn on immediately when you plug it in, simply turn off studio mode. Frequency selection allows you to adjust the base PWM frequency by up to 2000 Hz in 100 Hz increments, giving you the potential to tune out flicker. The control system menu allows users to select which of the 1200D Pro's three external control methods to use, Bluetooth, Lumen Radio CRMX, and Ethernet ArtNet or streaming ACN control. The 1200D Pro can utilize one of these control systems at a time. In Bluetooth mode, you can turn the Bluetooth on and off and perform a Bluetooth reset. You can then connect the LS1200D Pro to the CytusLink mobile app, which is compatible with all modern Aperture and Amaranth fixtures. You can learn more about CytusLink by watching the tutorials on the Aperture or CytusLink YouTube channels. You can use the Lumen Radio CRMX mode to pair the LS1200D Pro with your CRMX wireless transceiver. In Ethernet mode, which supports both SACN and ArtNet, you can manually set or automatically obtain the local IP, remote IP, and gateway. The MAC address of the fixture is displayed at the bottom of the LCD. With the language setting, you can choose between an English menu or a simplified Chinese interface. Factory reset simply reverts all settings and any adjusted parameters or connections back to the device's original state, which is a good tool for troubleshooting or resetting the light before sending it out on another shoot or rental. The update section of the menu allows users to update the 1200D Pro's firmware using the USB port. The 1200D Pro can also be updated wirelessly using the CytusLink app. For more information regarding how to update firmware, you can check out our How to Update Firmware tutorial in the description. And lastly, the product information option will display the fixture's current firmware version of the lamp head and control box, and the date this firmware version was created, as well as the fixture's Bluetooth UID. And in the custom effects menu, you can easily recall any picture effects or music effects that you've already uploaded to the fixture using the CytusLink app. Today, we covered the 1200D Pro's photometrics, design and build, accessories, power solutions, and interface. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Lightstorm 1200D Pro, the brightest Bones mount LED. Thanks for watching.